Uh, welcome everyone. I'm proud to deliver uh, the Buddhist painting recognition system that our team uh, developed uh, with a year's uh, worth of dedication uh, and research. So it was mainly to unravel the profound beauty and the religious significance they hold, uh, they hold and uh, let's begin uh, and do enjoy. Let's start uh, by introducing our team. So my name is Tashvin So, together with my friend uh, Mr. Prem Bhattu Bandari and Ms. Uh, Narmaya Tamang and uh, we worked under the guidance of Mr. Kanwanchu for a year uh, in developing this system. Our country Bhutan has a rich cultural and religious heritage from its unique places to its unique cuisine, our harmonious way of life, unique ritual and our unique dresses and our unique religious figure. So this is uh, what makes us feel proud to be Bhutanese. So this motivates us to protect our unique culture and religion and uh, which led to our topic which was Buddhist Banking Recognition System. Now this leads to a problem statement. As I told you earlier, our country is filled with religion and culture. So we receive many tourists from different places. So they face difficulty in understanding our religious figure and their uh, description. Not only tourists, our Bhutanese the younger generation and as well as our locals face difficulty in recognizing the spiritual beings, let alone and describe those. So what might be the reason? So there is no mobile application to support this kind of facility. So this was the reason we took our project. Being technical students, we felt curious on what can we apply in our mobile application to make it possible. So we came across image processing which is prominent in the field of computer vision. It allows computers or machine to learn from data. So there are many applications like facial recognition, medical imaging and object detection based on this technology. So why can't we apply this technology in our Bhutanese context whereby we can detect our religious beings. So this led to our aim. The aim of our project was to develop a Buddhist painting recognition system using image processing. In order to achieve our aim, we came up with many objectives. So the objectives are to conduct a literature review on image processing, select a suitable algorithm, then prepare a dataset on Buddhist painting, train a deep learning model, design a graphical user interface for both mobile and web application, and then finally deploying the model. Now let me explain you the brief system of review. So first what we did was we collected dataset uh, for our Buddhist painting and then we trained a machine learning model and then we deployed our model on our mobile and web application. For the data collection first we identified 20 different classes of Buddhist paintings and then we went on to different uh, handicraft stores, different shop, different houses, different hakans to you know collect images and videos. For the video we had to consider many illumination and many uh, angles while making the videos. Now for the actual data set we had 20 classes with total of 40,000 collected images and as I told you earlier we uh, made videos so we extracted frames from those video and it was uh, we saved two frames per second and then we did image augmentation to increase our data set so in it includes uh, rotation scaling black hat average blur so this will increase our data set as well as add variation to our data set which will make our machine learning model more robust as for the model training we adopted two methods. So the first method was based on convolutional neural network. Let me explain the brief working of convolutional neural network. First we input an image that run, and then it will form a convolutional operation with a pattern detecting kernel and then it will form a feature map. In that feature map there will be pooling operation so which is max pooling so it will reduce the dimension. So after a series of convolutional and pooling layer it will you know detect all the features and then it will be fed to a fully connected layer whereby the computer begins to learn and then output a result. Under CNN there are many 
architecture like Linnet 5, AlexNet, VG16, and VG19. We tested a custom dataset of Buddhist painting on this architecture and we found out that VG16 based architecture was best suited for our dataset. So it, the optimal hyperparameters are provided in the table and the best accuracy we got was 94%. For the VGG16 based model, we obtained the following model accuracy and model loss graph, as well as the confusion matrix uh, whereby the diagonal line depicts the correctly classified images by our model. We successfully trained the VGG16 based model, but it was not enough to meet our aim and objectives because it was not able to detect the multiple beings in a single image. So this leads to our next method that is YOLO, you only look once. So it is a real-time object detection method. It detects multiple objects in an image and it is a single stage object detector as depicted in the picture. And then in order to facilitate YOLO, we had to prepare another dataset, whereby this dataset contained multiple beings in a single image. And we had to label or annotate these images in order for the model to run. So for this annotation purpose, we used an online software tool known as makesense.ai. We successfully trained a YOLO V5S model and obtained the following confusion matrix and precision recall graph. We got a total of 82% mean average precision for the YOLO V5S model. These are some of the model testing results for YOLO V5S and as you all can see it was uh, well suited for our motif. Now for the model deployment purpose we had both mobile application as well as web application and then the tool used were Flutter to build the mobile application, Flux to build the web application and Firebase to store our data. This is our mobile system overview. First, a user will input an image into our application whereby the model will detect the spiritual beings in that particular image and output it as a result. This is our web system overview. First, a user inputs an image into our Flux application and the model will predict the particular image and then the result will be displayed on our application. Now for the moment you all have been waiting for, let's move on to our demo. This is our splash screen, our onboarding page, this is our main home page, our help section which will guide our users. We made screen slider. This is our navigation there and our about us page which will be the real of the developers. Our settings section whereby our user can select theme of their choice. Now let's move on with the actual detection. Let's detect from the gallery. Select an image and it will detect with the bounding box. Upon viewing more, it will display the description of that particular painting or detect a spiritual being. Next, uh, let's move on with an image containing multiple class. It successfully detects and similar for the description. Now let's live detect a painting. Upon clicking the bounding box, it will again display the detect description page. Now let's do it for multiple class.
this is our web application and for our web application we integrated CNN based classification model so we can download our model and our dataset and we have our teams page and then we have uh, video description and then we have main detection page we have to select an image and then it will classify let's uh, go on with another image and uh, this is how uh, classification is done